how to duplicate a website in Hostinger Website Builder. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to duplicate a website that you have created in Hostinger with the Website Builder or the internal Website Builder with just a click. So the process is going to be very easy and very simple. You're going to head over to Hostinger.com, sign in for an account within the platform and from here, you are going basically to head over the websites. So we are going to click on here and then we are going to choose websites list. So we are going to get all the websites that we have created. Now, before I head over the duplication of the website, I am going to head over the editing of the website. So make sure that you are going to have the website set uh, on the hosting or website builder by checking up this specific icon or logo. I'm going to click on edit website. So we are going to have the elements set. So for duplicating a website, that means that you're going to have add in or add a lot of modifications like multilingual modifications. Also like the, uh, let's say here, adding up or switching up the design completely by changing the background colors or the background images like these. So you're going to do or whatever you want from here and you're going to make sure that you are going to in case that you not like this specific design that you have you have did the duplication and you have your old website added or it is going to be waiting for you so i am going to exit the uh hostinger website builder and we're going to head over the websites again. So we are going basically here to click on the three dots and we're going to see that we have the option to duplicate the website. You're going to click on it and then you need a plan. So this plan is going to be here. So you're going to select the hosting plan. So you're going to select the plan and normally it is going to add your uh, website in here. So we are going to wait for it. I don't know where it is going to be, but normally it is going to duplicate that website and add it in here. So basically that was pretty much it. This is the duplicated website. It has no domain because the main domain is going to be uh, attracted or attached to your current website. And here we have it. So you can edit the website and get it in here in case you find some of the errors or the persistent errors, or you have some bugs with your website, you're going to delete the original website and connect again the domain that you have from this to this one after you have deleted that website of course that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one